physical illness, because it's more visible, takes precedence over mental illness. Jismani Bamari ko ziyade ahmiyat di jati hai, zeni Bamari se. In Ramadan during lockdown, mental illness goes to a whole new level. I'll try to explain based on my illness of anxiety and depression. Muji get me in Urdu, tashwish. We know Ramadan isn't just about fasting, it's about worship. The effect fasting has is the depletion of energy. It's hard to explain how much energy is needed to focus on daily activities, including ibadah and you know, worship. It feels like your head goes numb, your thoughts stop, you block out the world, your senses are in overdrive, you can't process what's going on around you, and it's like as if everything is alien, even yourself. Your cognitive function stops. Everything stops. You forget how to move, how to breathe. The instinct of survival kicks in to feel safe. And all you know is that you need to be in a safe place. You need to be alone. The comeback from this black hole is strenuous and it's to believe that you're not safe with your loved ones and to challenge that is exhausting. We know our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained, a pe- experienced a period of depression, which was eased by the revelation of Surah Duha. This shows that this frame of mind is understood in Islam, but sadly we cannot say the same thing for our Ummah. We are taught to seek help and ask for guidance. So I will make this crystal clear. There is no shame in asking for medical help for any mental health issues isme koi sharmindagi nahi honi chahiye ki agar aapko zarurat pare ki aap apne doctor ke paas jaye madad lene ke liye treat mental illness like you would diabetes or heart problems jazakallah khairan